Okay, so this next video lecture is still the continuation of our module 2, uh, Classification of Income Taxpayers. So, we will proceed with the next topic about uh, professional income. Okay, so this is uh, the classification of our income. Okay, so here, when we say professional income, basically, this refers to the fees that is received by a professional from the practice of their profession, provided uh, there is no employer-employee relationship between him and his clients. So basically, this is different from the compensation, okay? Because here, when we say professional income, this is the income earn earned by a professional in rendering his service to his clients. So here, um, he is not uh, an employee, okay? A professional is not an employee. He is privately practicing his or her profession for a fee. That is professional income. So, uh, an example of professional income is an income uh, gained by an accountant by providing his or her services to their uh, clients. Okay, or from uh, or in in the example uh, of a lawyer. Okay servicing or rendering his service to to his clients the doctors and others okay so those are the different examples of professional income so what are the exclusions from the gross income so here after learning about the compensation income professional income and business income okay so what are now the exclusions from the gross income which will later on be subject to uh, income tax so we have here the list of the items that shall not be included in the gross income and these are actually exempted from tax okay so an example of income that is exempted is proceeds of life insurance policies paid to the heirs or beneficiaries upon the death of the insured. Meaning, if um, there is an insurance okay, that is paid to the beneficiaries, these are tax-free. Okay, or, I mean, these are exempted from tax. Second is the amount received by the insured as return of premiums. So, in this case, um, this is an, uh, the payment of the owner of the insurance policy so his payment was returned okay, to him so in this case this is not uh, considered to be part of the gross income and this is also exempted from tax third value of property acquired by gift bequest device or decent so here if you are given a gift then uh, it is not part of your uh, income and this is not taxable but the person who gives you the gift shall be subject to uh, what you call it um, donation tax donation okay so that is the uh, premise there but if you are the receiver then you what you receive is not um but those who give you the gift, they will be subject to donor's tax. Okay. Fourth, compensation for injuries or sickness. So this is a form of insurance. So again, this is not taxable. Fifth, income exempt under the treaty. So in this case, if you are a foreigner okay, and you earn an income here in the Philippines, and that source of income under the treaty or agreement between the Philippines and your country is exempted, then, then it should not be taxable also. Okay. Uh, sixth, retirement benefits, your pension, gratuities, etc. So this is not also, uh, uh, although this is an income, but this is not taxable. Okay. Um, number seven, miscellaneous items. Okay, so these are other items or income that is not subject to tax. First, income derived by foreign government. Okay, this is um, non-taxable. Actually, 
the income of our government also is not taxable. Okay. Letter B, income derived by the government or its political subdivisions. This is what I uh, was talking about earlier. Letter C, prizes and awards made primarily in recognition of if that prize or award is for the recognition of religious, charitable, scientific, educational, artistic, literary, or civic achievement, then that is non-taxable. But if your winning or prizes is from other um, from other source, then that may be subject to tax. Letter D, prizes and awards in sports and competition also are non-taxable. Um, letter E, 13th month pay and other benefits. Okay. Letter F, GSI, SSSS, Medicare, and other contributions are non-taxable also. Letter G, gains from the sale of bonds, debentures, or other certificate of indebtedness. Okay, so, um, but in some cases, they may be uh, subject to tax, but generally, they are non-taxable. Letter H, gains from redemption of shares in mutual fund. So, here, this is uh, like an investment also. Okay. And letter I, income derived from the sale of gold. So, because this is in pursuant of our aim, number 7076. So, those are the list of income which is uh, non-taxable or exempted from income tax. Okay, so you can, uh, if this item or income uh, was uh, earned or gained by an individual, then he may not include it in his gross income subject to tax because they are exempted from tax. Okay, so we go now to the income tax rates. Okay, so for individual citizens, resident aliens who are also earning purely compensation income and individuals who are engaged in business or practice of profession, so we have <clears throat> a graduated income tax rate Okay, but we have here, <clears throat> this is the new uh, tax table under our train law now. Okay, so we have here <clears throat> amount of net taxable income, meaning uh, this amount right here, 250000 and so on, this is net taxable income, meaning gross income minus the allowable deductions. Okay, so that is your net taxable income. So we have here, if your income is not more than 250,000 or if your income is only up to 250,000 then that is um you will not pay any tax okay but if your income is 250,000 or more than 250,000 but up to 400,000 the tax rate will be 20 percent of the excess over 250 what do, do we mean by this uh, meaning if your income is 400,000 okay so the first 250,000 is exempted because that is zero percent right so the excess of uh, the amount okay so 400 minus to 50 so that will be the only uh, income that will be subject to 20 percent so for example if your income again class is uh, 400,000 minus to 50 then the excess is 150,000 150,000 that is uh, your tax there is 20 percent so 20 percent times 150,000 is equal to 30,000. Okay, that's how we compute it. So again, if your income exceeds 250,000 but not more than 400,000, your tax is uh, computed by the excess of your income, okay, the, ex uh, the excess okay, from 250, okay, that will be subject to 20 percent okay next line okay for example if uh, we have here 400,000 
okay, your your income is 400,000 up to 800,000. So, in this case, uh, your income will be 30,000 is fixed. 30,000 that is for the first 400,000 income that we computed in the second line. Okay? And then, in excess of 400,000, that is 25%. So, for example, if your uh, income is 800,000, so how to compute your income tax? So, that is uh, 800 minus 400,000, that is 400,000. The first 400,000, your, your tax there is 30,000. So, the next 400,000, the excess 400,000 will be multiplied to 25%. So, 400 times 25% is 100,000. So, your total income tax is 130,000. Okay, and so on in the table. Okay, so that's how you actually uh, compute your income tax but we will have an example later on so this is the table that we use now under the train law okay so uh here in the, the tax table um your the amount of taxable income is even up to more than 8 million but that's 35 percent already of the excess over 8 million Okay, but again, please be familiarized with our income tax table. Okay, so we will have an example so that you will be able to know how uh, to use this table later on. So this is our this tax table right here is only used for individual citizens and resident aliens who are earning purely compensation income. Okay, and also those individuals who are engaged in uh, business and practicing their profession. This is the tax rates that they will use, okay? For individuals only. Letter B. Uh, first, for purely self-employed individuals or professionals whose gross sales or receipts and other non-operating income do not exceed the VAT threshold of 3 million, so the tax shall be uh, at their option. So, they have the option number one, either they can use the 8% income tax on their gross sales or gross receipts in excess of 250, okay, um, in lieu of our tax table right here. So, they can choose that 8% of their gross income or gross or sorry, 8% of their income tax on the gross sales or gross receipts in excess of 250, okay? Or number two, they can also use this table, okay? So, they have the option. Letter C, for individuals earning both compensation income and at the same time, they are practicing their, their uh, profession or they are doing business. So, their income tax shall be Number one, for income, for compensation, their compensation will be based on this table. Number two, for income from their business or practice, so they have here the option. Letter A, if their total gross sales, so just like this letter B, okay, they have the option there. 8% of their income tax, gross sales, receipts, and other operating income in view of the tax table. Or letter B, if the total gross receipts exceed the VAT threshold, meaning that they are, their income is more than 3, 3 million now, uh, they can choose, I mean, they will use income tax based on our tax table now. But they ha only have the option if their um, gross income or gross sales will not exceed 3 million. That is the only time that they can have the option between 8% 8, 8 or this table. But once their income... Uh, gross income exceeds the threshold of VAT of 3 million, then they will use this tax table. Okay? So, those are for the income tax rates.